almost 7 p.m. already, so I'm starting this vlog quite late. Um, but I wanted to vlog tonight because I have a date night with my husband. I'm married, in case you didn't know. We've been married for almost six years now. Actually, our anniversary is next weekend, but he's traveling then. So we're celebrating tonight. We're going to Nobu, which just opened here in Marbella. We've been to two other Nobu restaurants. The last one was in London which was quite a while ago and we love sushi actually we love food <laughs> so we're really excited I'm gonna try to record something there I don't know how much I will be able to record but yeah I will definitely give you my thoughts afterwards like if it's worth visiting or not sorry for my hair by the way I just curled it and I need to let it set cool down a little bit before I brush through it with my fingers that's the trick to making curls last because mine usually fall out within an hour but if I use a lot of hairspray and leave it like this until the second I go out the door then it usually lasts me more like three hours so yeah that's why I look like this and I've got makeup on which I usually don't have in my vlogs I think maybe I've been wearing some lip product before but this is most definitely the first time I'm wearing like foundation and powder and a little bit of highlight and I actually don't like that my freckles go away when I wear foundation. Like, this is not a heavy coverage um, foundation. But you can barely see my freckles. I like my freckles. So I've been looking for a new perfume for summer. And yesterday I found one. It is from Hermes. And I believe it's brand new. It's called Rhubarb something. I'm going to show you in a second. But I just wanted to show you that you should always ask for perfume as a gift so it feels special when you get home and get to open it so i'm gonna show you now what's on the inside i just took off the ribbon and let's see what's on the inside so this is the perfume it's the 200 mils i'm not gonna even try to pronounce this name but you can see I highly recommend you go smell this one if you're looking for a new perfume for summer uh, it's fresh but it's a little bit sweet I don't like my perfumes to be too sweet and actually every single perfume becomes more sweet on my skin so I need to be careful but this one is perfect to point out that I am not complaining in any way. I am extremely grateful for this experience and I do not take it for granted, but I want to give you my honest opinion and this is how both me and my husband felt. Um, the restaurant is beautiful. The location is beautiful. It's in the Puente Romano Hotel. Uh, yeah, nothing more to say about that. It's just, it's a beautiful restaurant and it feels special to be there. But our waiter was not very nice, so that was the first negative. He was actually quite rude, and that should not happen in a place like Nobu. The menu is a typical Nobu menu. Items are expensive, and they are small. They are meant to share, which is what we did. Um, we had mainly sushi, but we did have some other things. I want to talk about the sushi first. 
the fish was fresh but no more fresh or tasty than many other sushi restaurants in Marbella which for the price I think it should be I can mention many restaurants in Marbella where you can find fish as fresh or fresher for much less than you can in Nobu but what Nobu does really well is the rice so the rice it's almost as though the grains are separate like you can feel that there are separate grains of rice they're not mushed together but the nigiri still doesn't fall apart like it's amazing and the balance between the sweetness and the sourness so we really appreciate that and it's been quite a while since we had good sushi rice the final thing i want to mention about sushi is that we were very excited to have tasty sea urchin which is very hard to find here in europe especially in southern spain and they didn't have any left so just out of curiosity we decided to ask where they get them from uh, and they said that they serve local sea urchin which we know is not tasty at all so they are definitely not worth 11 euros per piece then we had the wagyu which was just amazing highly recommend that one just keep in mind that you should probably order it rarer uh, this is terrible english sorry <laughs> rarer more rare than you think you want it because it's still sizzling hot when it arrives so it will keep cooking until you finish eating it basically our favorite dish however was the dessert and we had the matcha fondant it was super crispy on the outside runny and hot on the inside and if you've ever had matcha i mean not like starbucks tea syrup milkshake i don't know but like real matcha it does taste like soil but like in a very good way and this one was not sweet it was just delicious it had a rich matcha flavor and my teeth were completely green when i was finished and i was very happy and yeah it really reminded me of japan so i don't know if i should recommend it because i think that it's not I think it's an acquired taste but for us it was top perfect overall we had an amazing evening we really enjoyed ourselves the food was good I can't say that it wasn't it was good we had good wine we had a good time so yeah that's my honest opinion if you have been to another noble restaurant I would say maybe skip this one um, unless you really don't care about spending money on things that aren't like completely worth it but just keep in mind that Nobu is an experience and you're kind of paying for that like the whole atmosphere the chefs who greet you in a Japanese way when you enter the restaurant like it is an experience that I think everyone should have um, and we did have an amazing evening so I'm happy I'm sorry that this turned out to be much longer than I intended it to be. Um, so if you're still here watching, give me a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see more food related vlogs because it's really a passion of mine, of ours actually. And I am going for a run now, but when I get home, I am going to edit this vlog. And then I also have content for a next vlog which is gonna be quite different and i am a little bit nervous about putting it up but i hope you will enjoy it feel free to subscribe if you want to see more videos i would love to have you back on my channel and if you have any suggestions for future videos i could do please leave a comment down below and i will see you in the next video bye